630. Your news starts right now. New today, the future of the Veterans Avenue Pier Project in Biloxi heading to court again. Mississippi Secretary of State Michael Watson now appealing the Chancery Court's decision to allow the building of the pier without a Tideland's lease all the way to the Supreme Court. Watson saying he believes the recent ruling is inconsistent with existing and law and prior court decisions. The collapsed portion of Highway 26 in George County should be ready for drivers before Christmas. Today, MDOT selected a contractor to rebuild the highway that washed out after Hurricane Ida. The contractor, TL Construction in Columbia, Mississippi, said it can rebuild the highway for $1.8 million and have the job done by mid-December. Two 18-wheelers got stuck trying to cross the railroad tracks in two coast cities today. Both crossings are perennial problems. The crossings are Main Street in Biloxi and Nicholson Avenue in Long Beach. Main Street was the site of that deadly tour bus train crash back in 2017 where three people died. Thousands of visitors in South Mississippi for cruising the coast, and for some of them, laughter turned to shock as they became witnesses to a shootout. Biloxi police investigating the shooting that happened around 9.30 last night at the corner of Highway 90 in Rodenburg that sent two people to the hospital. Police say the gunshots came from two vehicles exchanging gunfire, a silver Nissan sedan and a black Dodge Charger. One of those, Hurt, was a bystander enjoying cruising the coast. Police telling us the other is believed to have been in one of the vehicles involved. Today, uh, police back on the scene hoping to find any more evidence from the shooting. Uh, witnesses uh, to the frightening incident are also sharing their stories. All I saw was a gentleman jump out of the car, start shooting, and jump back in the car in the passenger seat, sped off. I kind of knew, you know, which way he was shooting. And I just ducked and stayed out of stayed out of the way. Biloxi police say they have made no arrests at this time. Taking a look outside, the weather is still beautiful for cruising the coast, although it is on the warm side. You're taking a live look at Beach Road in Gulfport with our WLOX storm tracker during the biggest cruising we've seen yet. And now let's bring in Eric Johnson for a check on tonight's forecast. Yeah, today was hot. We reached the upper 80s in many spots. Pascagoula had a high temperature today of 88 degrees. And look outside in Biloxi along the beach. Things are looking pretty quiet. And Back Bay is looking quiet as well. Same thing across uh, the Silver Slipper, Snow, and Bay St. Louis. We'll have a complete update on the forecast in just a little bit. The controversial topic of critical race theory is coming back up in Mississippi, this time because of a newly released report on the issue. The Mississippi Center for Public Policy notes in their report uh, that uh, this is in response to lawmakers saying something needs to be done to tackle critical race theory. The report points to specific courses at Mississippi State, Ole Miss, and USM that include ideas they say are in line with this theory. They say it's harder to pinpoint in K-12 through schools but believe some of the professional development resources promote the ideology. Meanwhile, some in the state believe it's not a theory, but facts being taught. There's an attempt to sanitize history, and that only creates a false narrative. And by creating that false narrative, then we have what we have today, these divisions. The State Department of Education has stated that, quote, critical race theory is not part of the Mississippi College and Career Readiness Standards and say those are the standards that outline the skills and knowledge expected of students from grade to grade and subject to subject. A cruise in the coast favorite is back in action in the past today. Uh, racing fanatics gathered uh, right now to watch drivers literally burn rubber at the Burnham Up in the Pass event. Kristen Rupert is there now live to bring us more on this competition. Hugh, as usual, good things don't last long, and tonight's burnout event is an example of that. I'm actually in front of one of the vehicles that really was a crowd favorite. Uh, the wheels actually are no longer really attached to it. Rubber 
really flew off the back end of this thing. And it's because it was an incredible sight to behold. I'm actually joined now by the driver, Shane. That was an electrifying appearance. A lot of people, uh, you know, enthusiastic about what you put on out there. Take us through, when you're doing something like that, take us through the science of doing a good burnout. Well, the science is in the gearing, the fueling, and really practice and driver's technique. It's instant smoke, constant smoke, usage of the pad. you got to blow both tires. you got to be able to drive off the pad, and that's the most successful burnout that you can provide for the crowd. Now, speaking of successful burnouts, you had a unique vehicle to do it. It, it was somehow alcohol involved. Can you take us through the process a little bit? Yes, sir. Uh, it's a 1929 uh, Model A two-door sedan with a 540 big block Chevy, custom heads, high helix blower, and we got a carbon fiber injection hat running mechanical injection on methanol, also known as alcohol. And uh, it's just the perfect fuel to keep your car cool and make the most power. It's also pretty loud and it's pretty affordable too. I can attest to it being pretty loud. Shane, I'll let sure. you get back to it, my Thank friend. You. Overall, guys, if y'all want to see a vehicle from 1929, take out uh, really a, a large portion of smoke and just showcase really what it's all about here in Pass Christian. Feel free to tune in tonight at 10. I'm going to have a video of that and several other vehicles of all shapes, sizes, and models again tonight at 10. Until then, reporting in Pass Christian, Tristan Rupert, Debbie Wax News Now. Looks like a lot of fun out there. More cruising the coast events taking place, including one in Pascagoula. The flagship city is welcoming hundreds of cruisers to Beach Park. Live music, food trucks, and of course, photo opportunities in front of the park's large trees is enticing many drivers to visit. This stop is one of the many certified locations to visit in order to receive a Cruising the Coast stamp. The festivities in Pascagoula will continue tomorrow and Saturday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Classic cars starting uh, lining up to get into downtown Ocean Springs as early as 3 this morning. Once the venue opened, thousands of hot rods, low riders, and everything in between moved in and picked out spots all along Washington Avenue, Government Street, and Porter Avenue. The same streets closed today will also be shut down tomorrow and Saturday. With cruising attracting record attendance this year, 9,349 registered cars to be exact. The event has roared back strong even with the pandemic. Our Jasmine Lotz was in the Aberville today to catch the cruising action. Hundreds of people came to Cruising the Coast, the Yabberville site here at the Civic Center. The event includes looking at all the cars that's coming through because owners say it takes a while to get them up and running. It also includes listening to live music here from local talent, as well as a section to shop from local vendors full of car-related items and clothing. Diaperville is just one of the many sites that has to be stamped to enter the drawing to win a chance of $500. Organizers say they're happy to be a part of a popular car event that brings people to the coast from across the country. People like to get out and go. They like to drive the car, just like here. I'm not sure exactly every state, but I think we got just about every state in the United States we got cars from is here. And people will drive thousands of miles to go to an event. Just moments ago, organizers looked up how many people have checked in, and so far it's at 9,300 people, and they plan to get that number up more. Reporting in Diaberville, Jasmine Lotz, WLOX News Now. Our Cruising the Coast car of the day takes us back to the 1940s. They called them Woodies, and they were popular with delivery businesses and surfers in California. Dave Elliott found one that has been completely restored. 48 Ford Woody. Uh, everything from the doors back is all wood. Uh, red, bright red paint, LS motor. Uh, drove it down here from North Alabama. What's it like on the road? Oh, it does great. What do you enjoy about cruising the coast and getting out and sharing and showing off just hanging out with your buddies yeah. how much work did you have to put into this thing when you first got it <laughs> a whole lot <laughs> it started with just the cow that was it and what do you enjoy about the process the part of like turning it from something kind of rough into what we see today well it's been 10 years so it, it's just been spread out over time so it, I enjoy doing it. That's what I do for a living. And what do you think about cruising the coast? Just getting out there and talking to folks? And and it's the best show anywhere. We go all over the country, and this is the best. 
just enjoyment. No trophies, just have fun. Now that is a different car. The Tunnels to Towers Foundation announcing today it's helping more than 50 Gold Star or fallen first responder families with mortgages and homes. More on that when we come back, but first. And your forecast is coming up right after the break, but first, here's what you can expect over the water tomorrow.